Hey, good afternoon and good evening. This is uh, Trader Tim from eMiniMind. And today's video, I wanted to go through a handful of trades, uh, day trades from this week in the ES, um, as well as a, a trade from last Wednesday that um, since I didn't do a video at the end of last week, I didn't get a chance to talk about it in the um, weekly video. We talked a little bit about it during in the Discord. Um, the link for that should be down uh, below um for the for the discord chat but uh, i want to talk about last wednesday's trade because it was a really really big one um but let's dump, jump into today um i guess before we do the intraday stuff uh let's go through since i didn't do a video on monday let's run through the um kind of daily setup and it's important to note the swing high and swing low on the daily chart um, if we look at the swing highs and swing lows all the way down if we go back to the uh, March highs, you know, we have a swing high, and if we come down to kind of the more major swing low here, this next high is a lower high, and then we come down, make a lower low, and then we bounce, lower high, lower low, this high was actually a tick or two lower than the prior one, so lower high, lower low, lower high, and the pattern continues all the way down, and so until we break this swing high up here, which is uh, May 17th, that high, 89.75, the downtrend is still intact. So we can use this swing high as a potential uh, for a trend change. You know, you could do it a number of ways. You can um, draw up kind of a down trend line here like this and, you know, let the trend line break. Um, this is a more objective, rigid approach where if you let the swing high break, and then look for the next 50% retracement pullback as a potential buy point. Um, that's a good opportunity for getting into swing trades, um, adding to long positions, that kind of stuff. Um, and so that is the, the next swing high. And then down here, the, you know, the prior lows is the, the next swing low. So if we can break the swing high, um, I would watch that 50% long for a bounce. Going to today's trade, and then we'll work backwards to uh, last Wednesday. Uh, we had a really nice 15-minute breakout. And if I scroll back to the morning here, uh, we broke out just a couple minutes after the 15-minute bar closed. This was the first 15-minute candle. And it was a decent size. Um, but then, you know, we trended uh, for the rest of the morning and then kind of moved sideways into the close. And so um, just getting long above the high of that bar. And then... Um, you know, on, it's funny, on Tuesday, we were talking about, uh, you know, kind of good luck, bad luck situations in trading. And sometimes it's on your side and sometimes it's not. Uh, today, the good luck was definitely on our side. Um, we broke to the upside, so it was a long setup. And then if I pull up my log, um, it traded in about three and a half points. So the four-point stop was uh, still enough to keep us in. And But, but over here, so... We made this first push up, and then when we got to plus 10 in profit, 10 points on the ES, um, I like to move my stop to a uh, plus 4. And th that plus 4, so 40, 22 and a quarter was the long, and that plus 4 was 26 and a quarter. And look where we stopped, 26.50 we bounced, or we reversed. So it came one tick away from getting stopped out for plus 4 and uh, ended up with a plus 20, um, just using that 20 point uh, fixed target on these uh, breakout trades. So that was a nice one. Um, the last, oh, two weeks, let's see, there was a plus 20 on the 5th of May. And then since then, um, the last two weeks, there just been kind of a mix and match of plus fours and minus fours. So nice to get another uh, big winner in there. And uh, today, you know, when you have a strong 15-minute push like that, a lot of times it can be challenging to get into retracement trades, which is why I, I use that 15-minute breakout um, and paired with the retracements. The only real, um, you know, opportunities that kind of set themselves up were after we made this bull flag, so you can see a little better. So we went kind of straight up and then a couple bars sideways, and then a little bit later in the morning, um, some of these pullbacks, um, you know, started to bounce off of this 40.32. So you kind of have a reset of the retracement, if you will, to where we have a uh, you know strong push up and then move sideways, and then you kind of reestablish yourself off of 
you know, some swing low, but you don't know what that swing low is going to be until you start making the next leg up. And so once we uh, started moving up, then um, there were a couple of, you know, smaller retracements in here off of that, you know, sideways movement. And then, uh, and then that, was, that was kind of it. Then we moved sideways uh, for the rest of the day. So the next trade I want to talk about, uh, let's see here, do do do. Um, Tuesday's trades are all recorded in the the live session. Um, yesterday, let's see, Thursday, yesterday, um, yesterday had a nice retracement, and that was about 40 minutes after the bell. Let's go to that one, and then we'll jump back to last Thursday. So 25th and. 7.20 my time. Well, 8.20 now, I guess. I'm on Central again. Or uh, Mountain, rather. Okay, 7.20, long, 3.55.50. And I want to say it was this guy. Tick divergence, breakout, back to the 30-minute high. Okay, so this one, here's where that 30-minute range comes into play. Here was yesterday's 30-minute high and 30-minute low. Um, kind of moved up at the open and then went sideways. We filled the gap in the first 15 minutes. This is a five minute chart, that's why it doesn't look like that. We filled that first 15 minute gap uh, right away and so there was no 15 minute play. But then we moved through the 15 minute, or the, the uh, 30 minute range, excuse me, 30 minute high and then pulled back and this 50% lined up pretty close um, to the uh, 30 minute high. And so it was a 39.55.50, about three ticks off of the actual high, but I'm um, close enough. We've been moving up in, you know, nice retracements, pretty clean, um, off of the larger 50%, which was like that. So the larger 50%, uh, oh, get it adjusted here, like so, and made our way up. Um, in some cases, so. This is a good thing to, to look at here. Here's the 50, here's the negative 23 of the larger retracement. And a lot of times I'll go back to the full halfway back of the 15 minute at that point versus see how this retracement is a little smaller. Um, but when we break out of the 30 minute range, it, you know, convincingly this was a good three point move or more even. Um, we have less of a chance of going to the next full halfway back. So I like taking longs, uh, you know, kind of at the top of the 30-minute range, shorts at the bottom of the 30-minute range. Um, and if we just come up to it and we knock our head and then we roll over, then I'd be fine taking a short at the top of the range or a long at the bottom of the range. And then uh, last but not least, let's go to that Thursday trade. And, you know, this the shoot, this one I'm going to have to go, since it's already more than five days, I can only scroll back five days on the uh, 512. So it was the 18th here. That, that Oh, yeah, that was the day we went just kind of straight down all day. I'm going to have to flip this to a one minute. Um, so we'll still be able to talk about the setup, but it might not look exactly as it did. Just because it's a one and not a 512. But in toss, I can only go back uh, five days here. So um, this one was, do, do, do. oh yeah, towards the end of the session, I had one long earlier, got a first, tar I'm sorry, one short earlier, got a first target, and then a point and a half. And then the uh, next one was also a short, and it was towards the end of the session. And I want to say the 15 minute, the five minute will be a little more helpful. And get my time frame. Do, do, do. I could have drawn all these up before I started the video, I guess. Uh, something to this effect, where we uh, didn't even make it to the 50% of the first retracement. See how we came close, but we didn't, and it wasn't even that close. It was a couple points away, and then rolled over. Uh, we had very bearish breath, and we were underneath the 30 minute low. And so the next 50% traded, and I just took the very first 512 after that. Now, this is a one-minute chart on the right, but the, gen the gist is the same. And then from there, we just went straight down, and I just trailed, you know, as best I could each candle's high 
on the way down and it took me all the way to a 74 and a quarter which was somewhere in this region um, so pretty close to lows and that was a monster it was like 30 35 points so the three point first target and then 35 points on the second um, half of the position so definitely my biggest uh, retracement trade of the year so that was a nice one just wanted to to highlight that since we didn't get it to it last week. So um, that's what I got for you today. If you have questions, um, drop them in the comments below, or you can check out that Discord link. Uh, I'll put that uh, below as well. And um, hope everyone has a great rest of your week, and I will talk to you all soon.